Chris, they're saying that it is all about transparency because in a day and age where everybody has one of these, they want to document all RNC events on behalf of the city. Eyes in the sky. There will be more of them all over Cleveland during the RNC. We have an advanced camera system throughout the city of Cleveland. But they'll be using more than surveillance cameras like this one to keep a watchful eye over what goes on in the city. Cleveland police will have what they're calling a video unit recording convention events. That is our video unit's responsibility. If an incident occurs, they are to get to that location. They're going to be assigned to these different units, and they're going to go, and they're going to take a video record of that, so we have it. The unit is made up of supervisors and officers, and they'll film everything an officer would typically catch on a body cam. Traffic flow, crowd management, and law enforcement activity all over the city. The deputy chief said the unit will be especially helpful if officers end up needing their riot or protective gear. If you have to put on your personal protective gear, there is no place for that camera to be worn. You will not be required to wear your city-issued body-worn camera. He said this unit will make up for that. I checked in with the ACLU to see how they feel about the unit keeping a watch over everyone at the RNC, telling me in a written statement they're disappointed. Quote, we are skeptical this undefined mobile unit plan will adequately capture any problems that may occur. This is a concern for the convention and following the convention. Cleveland city officials insisting the goal here is total transparency no matter what happens. Full disclosure, we want to be an open book for any questions, any concerns that anybody has. We want to be able to document everything. There are still a few questions lingering regarding this video unit, so I asked Cleveland police for more information. They told me that that's technically tactical information, so for security reasons, this is all we can share with you right now. Live in Cleveland, Tara Molina, News Channel 5.